Hello, everyone. Today, we will present our project name, Study of Relationship Among Hydrothermal Synthesis Time, Temperature, and Spectroscopic Graph of Nitrogen Dope Graphene Quantum Dust. I am Walapha Patara Putikun. And I'm Suryana Thipong. Currently, we have a lot of nanotechnology. Nitrogen drop graphene quantum dots are outstanding in their unique optical properties, high level of stability, and low toxicity material. Moreover, the fluorescent spectrum of nitrogen drop graphene quantum dot can be adjusted by varying the size of particle. The biggest particle is red, and the smallest is purple. As a result of these spectacular properties, the nitrogen drop graphene quantum dots is widely used as an optical sensor, bioimaging, electronic device, and so on. However, the condition made to enable optical properties still not widely studied. So, we would like to study about this spectacular particle in more detail. Here is a series of nitrogen dope graphene quantum dots adopts a hydrothermal synthesis to investigate the emission of spectrum of nitrogen dope graphene quantum dots by using six conditions of stimulate wavelength. The particles are prepared from citric acid and urea. The synthesis process was carried out with two different reaction times, which are two and four hours, at two different temperatures, which are 120 degrees Celsius and 160 degrees Celsius, which is in total of four conditions. When finishing the synthesis process, we will measure its emission and absorption spectrum. And this is the graph of emission spectrum of nitrogen dual graphene quantum dots. Synthesis at 160 degrees Celsius at 4 and 2 hours, measured by fluorescent spectrophotometer. If you compare between left and right graph, you will notice that the 4 hours graph is slightly wider than the 2 hours graph. And this is the graph of nitrogen dual graphene quantum dots. Synthesis at 120 degrees Celsius for two hours. However, for this temperature, only the one synthesized at four hours show fluorescent properties. And there is another interesting point, is that for 160 degrees Celsius conditions, when the exciting wavelength is 300 nanometer, they show the most intensity emission. Meanwhile, for 120 degrees Celsius conditions, the most intensity wavelength is carried out by 325 nanometer. These are our solutions. On the left side are 160 degrees Celsius, and on the right side are 120 degrees Celsius. It is obvious that for 160 degrees Celsius, solutions are more darker than the other one. And for the absorption spectrum, we found that all four conditions are similar, which is between 200 nanometer to 400 nanometer. To sum up, we found that synthesis time and temperature are related to the optical properties of nitrogen drop graphene quantum dots, as we mentioned above. For our future plan, we hope this work can be one of the part to improve the study of nanoparticles called quantum dot. Moreover, we think using different emission spectrum for different purposes would be very beneficial in the present world. For example, the red emission graphene quantum dots can be formed into a roof to use as a heat source for a solar drying chamber, which is clean energy provided by UV light absorbed for the sun and using blue and red emission in a greenhouse to emit specific wavelengths that plant need. Thank you for your attention.